what's going on is that this housing is worn so every time he shifts this bearing moves out this what is that about a sixteenth mm -hmm. huh so every time he pulls you know into the uh, upper gears yep that whole tranny shifts back and forth and that throws your shift adjustment out plus the hockey stick which was aftermarket wasn't clearanced to go in mm -hmm. and the seal on the driver's side was in upside down backwards to this point so this housing is worn out yeah so what i'm going to do is here here's what i do it's an old porsche idea <coughs> drill and tap put a washer in there so that bearing doesn't come in and out okay. and then of course the shift rails are all brass, bronze bushed. <coughs> well, there's no movement there, so this... Oh, well, those are moving around a little bit. Well, that's good. Okay. This happens to be good, but this is no good. All right. See, that's why when I do a tranny, you know, this is included with the bushings, and I throw that in there, just because I've had this happen over the years, you know, the comebacks. And uh, this is why it wasn't shifted in the upper gears. One reason. Okay. All right. Yep. Without all the, getting into it. All the sinkers and whatnot look okay still. Well, that I, one's I all got open showed up. it up there. Is that, that, that's, that's that's part of the uh, rebuilders trick. <coughs> I'll explain that to you if you want. Okay. There you go. <coughs> so, <coughs> for example, these steel. Uh, synchro these teeth here. Yeah, these here From the day the Volkswagen comes out of the factory to the day it hits the junkyard It only wears nine steel tits Okay. Nine and the way you can pick them out is you put it on the side here and you pick out the shiny ones and if you knock out those in threes you see one two three if you knock them off, the transmission will pick up the remaining, which are brand new and never been touched. So that's a rebuilder's trick. Okay. And that can be done in all four gears. All right. So it looks like that's what he did here on first. Okay. Let me uh, let me shift this around. All right. Let me get a. Uh, yeah, you do. You have no play in first and in third and fourth. No play whatsoever. Is that bad? Yeah. And they have play in first second. Okay. Okay. All right. But that could be because this is out. All right. Where's my hammer? There it is. That's. It doesn't even go down flat. <laughs> So this is this is sticking out. It's it's worn. So if you look at the tranny right now, this is how it sits in the box in the in the housing. Okay. Okay. There should be some slop here, which there is. Okay. That's your idler, second gear idler. First and second. Uh, where's my? I got all my tools on. Like I say, I'm on a job on the other sides. All right. And for example, what I do with that screwdriver? This one, the one right in front of you there. Yeah. yeah. It's hard, to, hard to find one is right in front of you. Well, I'm showing and telling here, you know. <laughs> trying to make it, uh, you know, interesting. Interesting. There's first gear. Okay. All right, so you can see. Uh, so the problem with second gear, he said. I think this is the biggest problem here. It just takes the eccentrics. 
The only thing you can't do on a Volkswagen, it's got to be done by hand, is to find a happy medium on the slider. Okay. Known as the dead center. And when you're working with used stuff, it's hard to do because there's different wares on the fork and on the slider itself. So that's the only thing that can bite you in the ass on a rebuild. Now this coming out the way it did, that's double bite you in the rear end. Yep. And of course the hockey stick is number three. So. I think that was the biggest problem so far. But I've got to, I've got to dig deeper for the second gear. Now, did fourth gear work the second time? No, I think fourth gear was Second gear was unchanged, fourth gear was maybe a hair better. Was it? Mm. <coughs> All right, so as you can see, I'm going into third gear. See, the momentum's this way, so this doesn't pop out. Okay. Okay. Nice and smooth, All right? Sort of. And, but as you can see, we're going to fourth gear. Of course, I'm doing a plan. I'm not, don't have that three foot rod and a shifter and a monkey fist. But what'll happen, all the load, and it'll push this out. And that's what's happening there. The only thing I'm concerned about is the thing. Yeah, I think, like I told you, is the, the six volt. Wow. Ah, this looks like a 67 here. Yeah? 67 slider. So this was, we might have, yeah, first gears chipped down, which is okay, but you can, hmm, all right, if you, if you can come over here and you can show, two, three, see the shiny dogs, the, see those three shinies? Mm-hmm. That's worn, that should have been knocked off also, like first gear. That would have helped keep it in gear. Okay. That's on second gear? That's on second gear. So whether that happened from this moving out or just driving it, second gear is the most critical gear in there because everybody's scared to death. There's no first gear in the whole Right. And uh, so. Uh, Slam shifting into second. All this six volt stuff sucks. It's it's two millimeters thinner than the 12 volt gears, and uh, you know Volkswagen improved as they went through the years, and uh, that's why when I do a six volt, or I change everything internally to 12 volt. But it's getting harder and harder to find that stuff that's not from Brazil, right? Or from uh, Taiwan. You know. The trouble with transmissions up in this area is they wear out from freeway driving. Down south, they're blown apart from going to the desert. So, anyway, that's the story there. I'm taking a break. <laughs>